Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck and I teach all over the world about parenting, good communication, how to build strong family bonds, how to help behaviors modify. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to discipline a child that lies and steals. Do you wanna know how to discipline a child that lies and steals? In this video, we're gonna be talking about why they're lying and stealing and then what you can do to help them conquer the habit. I have to say something that's really important at the beginning of this video and that is that I used to be a liar and I do also remember times when I was young when I stole some things. Sometimes I was caught, sometimes I was not caught. In fact, if you can catch your liar or your stealer, then that's all the better because when a person is engaged in dishonest activity, they need to be found out a lot in order to be motivated to stop their lying and stealing. So I started lying when I was probably about six years old. It seemed to work for me. In fact, I wasn't caught very often. I guess you could say I was a good liar. Now that term really shouldn't exist because good means godlike and God doesn't lie. So there you go. But anyway, I was one that saw a lot of fruits from my lying labors, meaning people didn't find me out and I got to control a lot of things and make things go my way. Maybe I didn't have to do my chores sometimes. Maybe I didn't have to turn in assignments on time. There were a lot of things that happened because I became a liar. But I got to the point where I was actually lying sometimes before I had even made the decision to lie. So this meant that lying had become my go-to habit in communication. It was very frustrating for me. I realized it had gotten completely out of hand. I kept trying to rein it in but I was struggling and it wasn't until a friend confronted me one day and told me that she and all my other friends knew that I was a liar and that they could not believe a thing that I said that I finally was motivated to change. At this time, I was 14 years old. That is eight years of lying. That was a deeply ingrained habit and I knew it was a problem and I knew that I was not successful in stopping it. How was I going to stop it now? I went home and I thought hard after this friend told me this. I realized I had no friends and when you're 14, that matters. So I knew I had to do something. I told myself, I'm never gonna lie again. And then I realized, how am I gonna do that? Because every time I open my mouth just about, I lie. And so then I realized talking. If I just never talk again, I would never lie again. Well, that's not gonna work because you can't just go around your life not talking, right? And besides, I'm somewhat extroverted. That's for sure not gonna be a pleasant experience and I'm not gonna be able to maintain it. And then it hit me, wait, that won't work, but when I wanna say something, especially when I wanna say a lie, I get this little feeling inside me, in the pit of my stomach, that's like, tell this lie. It's like this craving that I want somebody to give me attention or I want them to listen to something that I have to say. And I was able to zero in on what that feeling of the craving felt like. And then I told myself, okay, so every time I feel that, I'm gonna tell myself, stop. And then I'm gonna ask myself a question. I'm gonna evaluate or analyze. And the question was, is this the truth? And if the answer was yes, then I would take a little step forward because when I do stop, I take a little mini step back. So if the answer was yes, I would take a little mini step forward and then I would say exactly what the truth was, willing to take any negative consequences that would come from that truth. If the answer was no, then I would turn and I would walk away because I knew if I stayed there, ultimately it would bubble out something, the lie would come out. So if it wasn't gonna be true, I had to leave and then I was gonna report to myself about it how I was doing in my journal on my lying. I had to have a place to report. And since I was a liar, I didn't want a person to report to because even though I did want to stop lying to fix my friend relationship, I wasn't exactly ready to be done lying to my parents and teachers yet. So I knew I had hit the moment when I was done with my lying, when I was ready one day to take an F on an assignment as a straight A student, mind you, because I hadn't done it. And I wasn't going to tell a lie about it. I wasn't going to say it was in my locker or somewhere else. I was just going to say, no, 
I have not done this. And I was going to take the negative consequences. And after I took the negative consequences, even though it was the worst grade I'd ever received ever, I realized I was okay. In fact, I felt good. I felt light. So I had created for myself a skill set. Now, if you've subscribed to this channel already, you know I talk a lot about skill sets. In fact, these children's books right here teach the skill sets of the four basic skills of self-government to children. Also, this book here teaches five different skill sets for parents so that they can better self-govern themselves. So I'm always teaching skill sets. Well, at this time at age 14, I started developing skill sets for myself. And this was one of those important first skill sets. It was the skill how to control the impulse to lie. So here's the skill set. You recognize that you want to say something. Or if it were for stealing, you would say, I recognize I am craving to take something right now. So you recognize the craving to steal or lie. Then you stop yourself. That's step number two. Step number three is you ask yourself a question. You analyze. Is this the truth or does that really belong to me? Whatever you have chosen to analyze with, what type of a question, and questions are usually best because it engages prefrontal cortex, which will hopefully push off some of those just impulses to take things or to say things. Then, after that, if the answer is yes, this is the truth, then I speak. Or yes, this does belong to me, then I can pick it up. But if the answer is no, I turn and walk away and I go report to somebody. Either way, at the end of it, I'm going to report. I'm going to report whether I told the truth or stayed honest or whether I didn't. For years, I did therapeutic treatment care for troubled teens. They were all between the ages of 12 and 18 and I on purpose took the ones who had honesty issues or liar written on their charts. The reason why was because I knew how to help them. I knew that a person could train themselves to not lie. Now there are more simple ways to teach somebody to be completely honest. For instance, just teaching somebody the skill accepting no answers. Remember those children's books that I held up? The green book teaches the skill accepting no answers and criticism. There are four steps to that skill. You look at the person or the situation. You keep a calm face, voice, and body. You say okay or you ask to disagree appropriately and then you drop the subject. So if I feel the impulse to tell a lie, then I've recognized, I've looked at the situation, okay? Then I keep a calm face, voice, and body. That means I recognize, am I calm? This is going to again bring me to more front brain. Then I say, all right, that's a no to myself, right? That's a no. This is a no answer. So then I'm telling myself, okay, I'm going to accept this no answer. And then my last step is I drop the subject, which means I'm not going to think about it anymore. That's what you do when you give yourself a no answer. There are four basic skills of self-government. And if you learn the skill sets to all four of those four basic skills, that takes care of 99% of your behavioral problems that you might have within yourself and as you're teaching your children as well. So learning what skills to use ahead of time makes all the difference. In fact, that's what I did when I controlled myself. As I said, this is a problem. What skill or what process am I going to go through so that I don't end up having this problem again and again? You have to be prepared. If you are not prepared ahead of time for what skills you need, you'll keep falling into the same habit. Trust me, I was a liar and I brought liars into my home doing treatment foster care for them. So if you just tell your child, no, that's lying, that's bad, don't do it, they don't know what to do instead. The skill set helps them know what to do instead. This is why skill sets are so incredibly powerful. So learning the skills of self-government is going to help your child better govern themselves and feel more in control and have something to do in those moments when they would lie. But also learning the skills of self-government is going to help you be a better parent too so that you're more honest and you communicate more deliberately and predictably in your communications with them so that they don't feel a need to lie in the first place. So if you've enjoyed this video, then you will love my next video called How to Get Kids to Accept No Answers. Click on the link to that video next. I'll see you there.